as someone that drinks four cups of coffee a day. I've always been fascinated by how caffeine does its thing, keeping you awake. And it is mind blowing. This is the caffeine molecule, one hexagon attached to a pentagon. These kinds of molecules are called purines. But if I remove this, it becomes adenosine. In biology, the shapes of molecules are central to their function. When a shape fits a receptor, like a plug into a plug point, things get turned on or off. So caffeine, very similar to adenosine. Keep that in mind. Being alive is ridiculously hard. Your cells work 24 seven and that needs energy. So that is where the only part of the cell whose memorable function every Indian school child remembers, powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria comes in. You eat food, digestion makes it glucose and mitochondria uses that fuel to turn ADP into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of all life. Remember again? adenosine. Now, as you go about your day, your mitochondria get stressed and start breaking down and producing all manner of toxic byproducts that is bad for your DNA. And this particularly happens a lot in your brain. Staying conscious takes a lot of energy. So over the day, mitochondria start malfunctioning and instead of recycling ADP, some of it breaks down to raw adenosine, which builds up in your brain. So our brains have evolved a brilliant correction mechanism. They have a bunch of sensors like plug points, and when enough number of free adenosine molecules plugs into them, they flip a switch. I'm simplifying, but your brain has two operating systems, awake system and sleep system, like Linux and Windows. This switch gives control to the sleep system. This is why animals sleep, to give our mitochondria a break. Which brings us back to caffeine, similar shape to adenosine. So fits this plug, but keeps the switch off. So you drink coffee, awake system stays in charge. You don't feel sleepy. But here is the thing, caffeine does not give you energy. Your brain is a constant battle between the awake system and the sleep system. And built up adenosine from tired mitochondria is what tips the balance daily. And caffeine is this guy, not this guy. But here is the truly mind blowing thing. If you think you can keep drinking caffeine to stay awake, your cells will simply trigger a gene that makes more adenosine receptors in your brain. So caffeine will not be able to prevent the transfer of control to the sleep system. Biological life is all about balance. You can keep throwing new things at it. It will always find a way to adjust.